I'm Mark Farrett. I'm an artist, researcher and lecturer at Centre St Martins in London. And my work is generally looking at how external things mediated through technology influence one's sense of self. So this is why this residency felt so fitting, looking at how digital narratives are affected by climate change. So this challenge set by Hackte and Starts fits so perfectly with the work that I'm currently working on, which is looking at how digital narratives for climate change can be altered. So Invisible Voice, the project that I'm currently working on with lead developer Orange, is looking at exactly this. How can we set new narratives around climate change and social justice, but from a grassroots ground level? How can people coalesce around issues that they care about and then directly start to influence MPs, politicians, and ultimately change media narratives, as we're ultimately just living in narratives. We're living in a narrative about a narrative set by a few people. So how can the collective now feed into that agenda? So with Hacktake, they've given us amazing access to loads of different people, from the Open University, to NGOs, to not-for-profits, to artist groups, to activists. Uh, we're really trying to work with all of them as much as we can and see how their research can feed into Invisible Voice, but also how we can help them with their work and really try to understand where issues sit within the project, what we're trying to hope for, what it's actually achieving, what, what's really being done. Because most often than not, you set out to do something and it does something completely different. So probing questions, hopefully, is one of the main things. Um, but also us working with them. And this not just being this two separate bodies doing work, artists and researchers or activist groups and not-for-profits, that how can we really make this an interdisciplinary approach, which the 21st century really is anyway, and that's what the Open University is standing for. So it's how can we take that ethos and apply it to Invisible Voice.